My names are Rogers Masinde and I come from Bungoma. Though I've been raised up in Nairobi, but this is my homeland. Right now here in Bungoma, I have an eatery place. So it's a hotel that is comprehensive. It's serving food and uh, I also have a car wash outside. I can also clean cars, clean motorbikes and I can provide sleeping services. So around eight years ago, that is in 2012, uh, me and my wife, we first visited uh, Bongoma. We had come to see my mom and ask her uh, blessings in our, in our marriage. My wife is from Spain and we didn't find a place. We actually found a place to sleep in Bongoma. Not that there were no hotels, there were hotels, but they were not to a good standard. Maybe they were to a good standard in terms of bed services, but they were not in a good standard in terms of food. So when we came the first time and the second time, and my, my wife liked coming here over and over, we, we, we got disappointed at some point. And we thought maybe if somebody introduced this kind of services in this town, they'll be satisfactory to so many other people. So we started it because we found there is a need for this kind of services. Hotels in Spain are like the hotels we see in, uh, let's say in big towns like Nairobi and in Mombasa, whereby they provide more services other than just food. You go to a hotel, you're sure that your car will be cleaned, you're sure you can have a nice swimming pool with either warm or cold swimming pool water, you're sure that you'll have a steam and sauna, you'll have a gymnasium where you can go do your exercises, you can go to a place, you, you go to a hotel where it, it has a room where you can do your pedicure, manicures. It has got all those services inclusive in just a hotel. So you're not only looking for food, but you're looking to a place which is more than just a home for you. I would love to bring something like that. Well, uh, I won't really pinpoint to how much capital I've put here because this is a place that has grown over years. Like I told you, we came here in 2012. So from 2012 until now, we've been doing, we've been making small progresses here and there. And uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of time, that is, we've been investing a lot of time and also money into making this place look the way it may appear to be looking right now. Uh, the only thing that makes me different from the other hotels in Bungoma is the foods that I serve, the way I cook my food, and the way I serve my food, and the comments we get from the customers who consume our food. That is the unique part of it. Secondly, in our services, the way we deliver our services is totally different from how other hotels deliver their services. Now Bongoma has new generation people, new generation, um, for me they are my customer, new generation customers, if you allow me to say.
the major challenge we had before even the COVID came. And again, when COVID struck in, we had overall very bad business time because of the hours that the government had curfewed uh, all the businesses to open and close within those hours and plus uh, the skeptability of clients thinking that visiting the public places or eating food from uh, hotels or restaurants was not a very safe thing to do. So those kind of challenges, we, we got them a lot. But uh, over time, we have realized that upping our game in terms of cleanliness and also just holding enough uh, clients uh, at, at, at a given time has introduced as to different ventures of business. For example, we can also do delivery services instead of just uh, thinking customers can only come here and eat from here. So we started packing food, preparing and packing food. So that has made us to like compensate on the number of clients who come here. We have also advertised ourselves online and to the customers who used to come here that we can also do uh, outside catering. So that is also something that has made us to compensate on the losses that we've been getting during this post-COVID uh, yeah, era or time. Any other person who want to do this kind of business, maybe in Kenya or maybe across Africa, I would say it's quite challenging. It's quite challenging in terms of, uh, it depends with how big you want that or you dream for that business to be. But you can start small. Long time ago when we came here, we didn't have enough capital to like set up the rooms or like set up the car washes and stuff like that. So we start by only cooking. And through that cooking, we've been able to like uh, keep some money aside and live up to the other dreams that we thought, oh, maybe we should have started with these right from the beginning. So it's a doable thing, but it needs a lot of tenacity, it needs a lot of, uh, uh, let me say, patience. It needs a lot of patience. My dream is to, to grow and spread my fast food restaurant, my type of fast food restaurant within Western region. At least I should have branches in other towns within this area and set the same standard. I would like to tell my fellow Kenyans and my fellow Africans that uh, if you have it in the mind as a thought, it's doable physically. You just need to put your back into it. You need to put your mind into it. Uh, sometime people look at life like uh, a very big puzzle whereby things are just confusing or things are just like mixed up, but it's not. Uh, life, can also, life can also be as easy as you'd like it to be. So to any African or to any Kenyan who is aspiring to do hotel business, I would, I would, I would, I would advise them to at least get attached to one hotel somewhere in any town and learn the tricks of the trade first before you think of opening yours. Because there is always something outside there that you don't know, that you need to learn from somebody. And then if you add that into whatever you know, or whatever inspiration you have within you, then now you can explode into, the, into whatever you want to, and nothing can stop you. <laughs>